Hi there, this is Joseph. You can call me Joseph if you are Vietnamese, of course. Today I would like to share and talk to you about something that's very close to me now. Speaking and pronunciation specifically. As recently I've been part of the IELTS process and um, the IELTS placement test in particular, I was there to listen to you, Vietnamese students. Uh, I've noticed, I've experienced that even the best students who had a large, not wide vocabulary and uh, the kind of fluent, uh, fluency in speaking, yet their pronunciation skill was pretty low, is pretty low. Their sounds were not clear and the contrast in speech, what I'm, I'm going to talk to you soon, were not clear, were not stark, as it should be, as it has to be in speech. So I'm, gonna, I'm here to give you some tips about speaking and pronunciation. Let's start with the first one. Do not speak fast, and I'm doing now for a video reason to make the video shorter. Please, Vietnamese students and in general in everyday life speaking, do not speak fast. Why? First of all, businessman, example life examples, businessman, showman, uh, if you need to present your work to the audience, if you are a scientist, if you are a teacher, you don't speak fast. A prime minister of a nation or a country will never speak fast. Because clarity comes first in your speech. You need to convey your meaning to give your sentence a straight right sound to be understood by your listener. So the first and most important thing is do not speak fast. Speaking fast is not a skill. When a native speaker speaks fast... It doesn't mean that you are understanding what they say. Usually it might be uh, confusing, might be not understood by his listener. Especially low educated people don't speak well if they speak fast. They slur, they mumble, they uh, forget some consonant sound, important words, important sounds, sorry. Even words, even the whole words they might forget. So... Please don't speak fast, speak not slow, but with the right pace. At beginning, as we are now at the process of learning, you should speak slow, because once you learn how to speak slow, you can speak faster and faster. Once you adapt your brain to speak slow, you can uh, make sentence better and better, and uh, will come after that. Practice will follow and will make it uh, will make it perfect and faster your speech. So please be clear for because clarity comes first. Make your sounds clear. Uh, it's also a matter of intonation, uh, word stress, of course. But we will talk about that later. The second thing, the second advice I want to give you, a little piece of advice is: be passionate. Be passionate. Uh, what does it mean being passionate in this case? Don't easy judge yourself. Study and learn by yourself. Then practice, practice. If you make mistakes, don't be sad. It's normal. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't say, sorry, teacher. Oh, no, don't be. Don't make sad face. Don't be so, so guilt. Don't feel so guilty. Be passionate. And I want to tell you this. Be forgiving and forgetful of your mistake. It means, what does it mean, be forgetful, for example? Forget about that. Today you make mistakes, tomorrow you will make again. And the day after tomorrow, I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in English, in speaking. Because the brain goes too fast in comparison with tongue. The tongue has to follow the words made by your thoughts. And they are too fast. So sometimes the brain... I had to experience this myself by learning English. As I'm no native speaker, I had to learn English uh, and was pretty hard to, after studying a lot of grammar, books, after watching your video, in English video, your movies, your brain want to speak but you are unable to speak. Especially at the, at the beginning, at the beginning stage, you can't speak uh, even a, a full sentence. I couldn't speak. What does it mean that? 
nothing nothing means it means it takes time take your time to learn take your time don't push your limits don't easy judge yourself be confident of your skills but learn how to be passive at beginning at beginning at beginning of learning english on any language you need to be passive and absorb the process of learning or process of listen listen first and then you will speak later don't worry okay be passion and do not try to speak fast Sp speaking fast it can be totally wrong for your skills for your english you don't need to speak fast i told you successful people do not speak fast so be patient be forgetful um in a be passion part i would like to remind you to record a piece a little um, little piece of your voice something like two uh, slash three minutes of your speech play it back and see what are the mistake you are making uh, what about intonation? What about the word? Did you pronounce that word correctly? Is it clear? You need to ask yourself, do they understand you? Do you understand yourself? Because the most important thing is the meaning. People do understand you. If not, if you say, no, teacher, I don't... Be, I sound horrible, te uh, my teacher. I sound horrible, oh, sorry. Don't feel pity for yourself. You can do it better. Go to check the phonetics transcription on internet. Go to revise your pronunciation. Go to check on any uh, dictionary online. What is the right pronunciation of that word? Can I do it better? Let's, let's do it better, okay? I believe in you. I think everyone can do that. I did it in uh, an um, um, old stage on my learning. I'm an old student and an old learner and I can tell you, you can do that too. Okay, try try to focus on pronunciation and on tra phonetic transcription. Record your voice, make the sound clear. Um, now let's talk about some... Uh, so, don't speak fast, don't ever speak fast, be, be passionate, be passionate. Try to forget yourself, try to forget your mistakes and you will do it better. The slower, the better will be. Okay? When you learn, you need to slow down. It takes time to learn. It takes time, the right time. Might be months, like me, it might for it was for me, it might be year. Maybe one year, two years, and wait for that moment when you wow, when you boost, you will feel confident enough to speak full sentence and being clear let's talk about uh, pronunciation specifically for vietnamese um, i've noticed three common mistakes the first one people will say the uh, consonant sound the final s no i say the word stress the most common and most annoying for foreigners uh, or english speaker is word stress what do you mean what, what do I mean for the word stress? If uh, a word like address has the stress on the first syllable, you need to stress on that. You need to say, if you say Monday, it's Monday. It's not Monday. As Vietnamese, as a typical, uh, they split the words in, um, a typical Vietnamese word is just monosyllable. You have just one syllable and the stress is there. Um, in English, it's not like that. There are two syllable, three syllables words, and you need to stress exactly where it is, where goes the stress. Usually, English people have the stress on the first syllable. Address, Monday, police. Police, Vietnamese will say, Vietnamese student at any age, any grade, of course, little students, young students, they are better. They are learning faster because they have so many inputs. So this common mistake made by teachers by adults, by teenagers. Uh, instead of say po police, they say police on the in the end. They put the stress on the end because Vietnamese has this double stress on each word. Uh, sorry, because in, um, on each word, like every word has a, a single stress. In English, no. You need in English is different, different sounds, different pronunciation. You need to learn. Don't make your. You have to make up your mind to make different sounds. Okay. How you do that? How you do that? By practicing, by correcting yourself. Mm, set up your mistakes. For example, uh, so the word stress. 
The stress goes exactly on a single syllable and not in another one. There are no two, two stress, three stress on the same words. It might be, but not the case. We say Monday. The second one is final consonant sounds. And with that, I mean ch, t, d. Mm, I'm not this, of course, s sometimes becomes z, z. Um, how can I say k, uh, sh. Sound. Where is Sha? March. They say Mark. March. No. Uh, Vietnamese student will say uh, instead of I have a friend, he will say I have a friend. Where is D? D sound. The consonant, final consonant sound is the, very important for the English speaker. You need to know. Friend. You need to, to pronounce it correctly. Friend. House becomes for Vietnamese how. How. I have a how. Face becomes fe. What is sound? The final consonant sound. And so, so many others example like this. Of course, the most common is the third present tense, S, disappearing. Like watch, instead of saying he watches, becomes he watch. I, he sees, he see. No, where is the S? And the S, of course, as Z, uh, I, Z, glasses, for Vietnamese is completely impossible looks like it completely impossible to say is i'm talking about students i've experienced and i met in my past few months experience so forget about ed sound past simple that's the second stage forget about voweling the vowel to open we focus on the final consonant sound please when you speak a full word Put the stress correctly, where it is, check the phonetic, listen the right pronunciation, try to repeat that sound, and don't forget the consonant sound. The third very common and most difficult things to learn and the most common mistake for Vietnamese, to me, is intonation and speech, and um, t rhythm and pitch. It, when you speak in English, there is a moment when you raise your voice, a moment when you lower down your voice, and a moment when you raise up. In Vietnamese, is monotone. You go up and down very fast and the same rhythm. So, uh, I like, like kind of robots. Um, that's Vietnamese language, of course, but not English. You are learning English. You need to make a different intonation. When you make a question, you say, Oh, teacher, where do you go today? Where do you, where is your school? Where is your school? You raise your voice again. A Vietnamese student will say, where is your school? Where, no, sorry. Where, where is your school? Where is your school? The same, monotone, a little bit up and down. Now, you raise your voice when you, when matters. You need to say where, very important. Is, low, lower importance. So, emphasize the sounds that which matter to you. The, mean, the one who give the meaning, who deliver the message to the listener. Well, I say, I give another example. Um, I have been teaching in uh, Thailand for two years. Um, and I didn't like it. That I didn't like it has to give you a contrast in speech. Higher pitch, higher sound. I didn't like it. Ah, you have to act like Eng English people do. Higher sound, higher, louder voice. Also, this is another problem. They speak too low voice with a low tone. That's about confidence. It's another problem. But also because they don't move their mouth m much. Move your mouth. When you make a sound, make it clear, clear. Also, the R sound is the, another phone consonant sound important. So, please... Mind about word stress, final consonant sound that can be also in the whole syllable, how, hows. And third, important, intonation. I think it's very important, is intonation and pitch. Make higher your sound when, it's, when it matters. The words that you need to focus on are where, uh, when you make a question, or is the first, no, where, where, what, W question, uh, words, and then... Object is important. The subject is important. Okay, Conju uh, conjun uh, connector. So um, uh, conjunction, uh, preposition, less important. Depends. Depends on what you are saying, but less important. So when you speak, make it louder. Move your mouth. Okay. 
So I, I hope the, this video is useful for you. So do not speak fast, please. Uh, be patient with your learning. The slower the better. And try to fix these three points. Intonation, word stress, police, Monday. Also, I, will, uh, I forgot about this. Uh, the S yes, sometimes Vietnamese had Z then Z S where there is not like meat. I like meat. No, I like meat T sound. So don't make countable, uncountable, countable. Um, where check if there is no S, try to spell again. That's common from mistakes because when you try to make a different sound in another language that is not your native language, this some S comes out, some Z come out like in Vietnamese. Uh, they will say mars uh, something like touch does with some z in the end because also of the teeth formation you have so many z sound that you have to eliminate erase try again and set up okay this video is pretty long um i hope you enjoyed bye bye from uh, the sap